Hi guys, welcome back to the beehive. If you've not heard, Queen Elizabeth the second, the longest reigning monarch in British history and almost world history, what's going on? <laughs> has died. And it is so sad that she is dead. I've grown up with her. My parents have grown up with her as the monarch. Charles and I the king. For her, I dedicated this Lego build for her. The Queen of Queen Elizabeth. Of course, the human flag. And of course, the Queen. I like the, the, it's purple. You can't really see it in purple cloak on. Purple cloak on. A nice throne. <laughs> Thank God, it was already made. Anyway, right, so, very sad. So, I made this complaint a wee bit about what's going to happen since she's dead. Well, first, uh, so, whenever she's dead, she she is being transported, as I speak, even maybe already has been transported. Wait, no, is is in Balmoral doing rituals, doing something, you know, you know doing stuff in Scotland, getting ready for people. For stuff in Scotland. The body is not the actual queen because she's dead. Rest in peace, Your Majesty, by the way. She was a great queen now. Like, I've grown up with her as the queen. My mum and dad have. My brother has. Everyone, I, a lot of people I know, except for my granny, she was born two, a few, maybe ten, three, three years before, maybe about nine years before the queen became the queen. But still, she's definitely. It's definitely really weird and really as soon as the ha the ma the flag got got lowered to half mass it was terrible. I, and when they, they brought up this a lot a picture of her when she was younger, not quite this, but a wee bit younger. No, a wee bit older than that. And then when they played the national anthem for the last time, it was uh, instrumental, since it was a switch over the power. So of course I Stood because I want to be rest, rest but I can I sang God save the Queen. Oh, come on, it's the last time you'll be able to say it officially, so you kind of have to. A sign of respect. So, and I cried because you know, so it's very, I love researching the, the lineage and everything about the royals, it's fun, it's very good. But like, new king, which is really weird for me because, well. And oh, everyone I would say, never seen a king. I've never seen a king on the throne. It's always been Queen Elizabeth, but now it's King Charles the First. Yeah. So anyway, uh, <laughs> so when she'd be lying safe for four days, and then many more things could will happen. So I just want to say to Her Majesty, well done on your amazing reign, and rest in peace. You are, you were a great queen. So is that saying, is that saying to you, and like, I'm from North America, and so, not the, you know, the most, eh, uh, well, shouldn't be, I'm not the most patriotic man, but it is pretty sad that her majesty the queen has died. Queen, she was the queen of the UK, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Jamaica, a lot of the Caribbean islands, and way more Queen of Gibraltar, Queen of Falkland Islands, Queen of the British Overseas, Queens of the British Overseas Territories, the, and the British and Arctic Territory, and many more. So please, and so God bless her, and I hope that Charles will have a lot of a nice reign. I don't think it'll, not to be rude, but I don't think it'll be long because the age is he's seventy something. So he's seventy so, you know, not the longest reign but still. Now Queen Elizabeth you've done really well with you're gonna Her Majesty you, your Majesty I think has done uh, her Majesty's done a really well good reign. But now it's time she's now signed off. And her final words were God and my final words of this video, so see you next time in the beehive. Where her, 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 her.
our last water actually. God save the king. That's my last words of 